Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. Okay, it is time to sing our letter K song, Keely Kangaroo. We're also going to practice our K sound. That's the sound that the letter K makes, whether it's a big K or little K, same sound. K. We'll be practicing that and we're going to be playing a guessing game. I'm going to hold something in my hand. You have to guess what it is and spoiler alert, it starts with the letter K. Um, we'll also be practicing writing K's today with a pen. And I think we skipped that yesterday. We'll make sure we get that in today. So let's get started so we can get that in. Okay, let's start with Keely Kangaroo. Alrighty, here we go. Here's Keely Kangaroo. She makes a K for you. She knows K stands for kindergarten now, so do you. Here's Keely Kangaroo. She makes a K for you. She knows K stands for kindergarten now, so do you. These kids are kangaroos and they're in kindergarten. That's what we're singing about. And Keely Kangaroo is the kindergarten teacher. Let's sing it again. Here's Keely Kangaroo. She makes a K for you. She knows K stands for kindergarten now. So do you. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's move on to the sound the letter K makes. K, 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 K. Remember, that's a sound that we make at the back of our mouth, at the top of our throat, way back here. Sometimes our tongue wants to come forward and say t t t, but really we make that sound way back here. Very good. All right, now let's play our game. I am going to pull something out of our K bucket. I'm going to hold it in my hand so you can't see it and see if you can guess what it is. This is an animal and it actually likes to eat leaves and it lives up in trees um, and it starts with k and I believe they live in Australia, maybe New Zealand. I'm not positive about that one. They're very cute. Um, they look a little bit like a teddy bear. Can you guess what that, what it is? Now, can you guess what it is? It's a koala, a koala bear. I used my k sound, koala. Let's see what else we have that starts with. It's another animal in my hand. This one also lives where the koala bear lives, but it likes to jump around, hop around. It has a pocket on its belly where it keeps its baby. Um, the baby is called a joey. And we have some right here in our picture. Can you guess what it is? Let's see. Can you see what that is? It's a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Let's see what else we have. Mm, let's see here. Okay. I have something in my hand. This is something I can stick in a lock and I can turn it and that unlocks the door. What is it? It's a key. K -k -k key. All right, I think I have one more, maybe two more. I think I have two more. Okay, this is the art project we did yesterday. It's shaped like a diamond, it has a tail, and it flies up in the sky in the wind. And you hold on to it by its string. Do you remember what that is? It's a kite. 
And now this will be our last one of these. I'm going to put something in my hand. And it's something you fill with water and you put it on the stove. And it heats the water up and you can make tea and other things with the hot water. Do you know what it is? It's called a kettle. A tea kettle. K is for kettle. All right, well done. Let's practice the letter K. I'm going to bring this over. Do you remember how we do this letter? I'm going to slide these up. We're going to make a big K, so I'm going to put that back here. All right, I'm going to tip that down just a little bit. And to make a K, we have to go down and then down, 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 down. Down, down, down. So did you see how I did a line? And then I went back to the top. And I'm trying to get back to the middle of the line. And then I continue down from there. Let's try some more of those. Down. Then what do I do? I go back up. And I only go down as far as the middle of my line. Then I start at the middle of my line and keep on going down. Down, down, down. There you have it. Those are my K's. All righty. Thank you for practicing your K's with me today. You practiced, or you practiced watching Miss Terry make some K's with a pen. You practiced saying the sound the letter K makes, and you even sang a song about the letter K. Thanks for joining me, and we'll do a little bit more work on our K tomorrow, and then we'll be done with K, and we'll be moving on to the letter L. See you later. Bye now.